Hi and welcome to part 3 of building Flappy Bird using Solar 2D. Today I have 5 to do's I want to go through. The first one is making sure we can keep track of the high score. So I'm going to begin with that. To do this I need to include a library called ggdata. I will post the link in the description to this. So I just paste it there and to make it easier to keep track of high scorers, sending in score and stuff like that I want to create a utilities file. So here in the root folder I create one file called utilities.lua. I have already created it and it's going to look like this. I will show you the complete contents of this. First I import ggdata which helps us to read and write data to files locally on the phone and then I create an instance of a should be a class and then I create the database a new one. I can just remove this then I initialize the database and check if db.highscore is set if not I just set it to zero. And then I have a function for getting high score. I have one for setting the high score. Actually, I can change this to if score is greater than db.highscore, then I set it. So then I can just call this function every time we reach the game over screen. And then I return utilities. So now I can import this class in main.lua and use these functions. So inside here, I import sorry, local utilities, utilities equals require utilities like that. So then I can go where we where we die and I can say utilities set high score and just provide the score like this. So then I call this function it will be a capital S and it checks if the score I pass in is greater than the high score we have saved in the database. So I can just paste it those two places like that and inside here I can say print new high score and save so if I test it now the high score should be zero but when I go to one point and died I got new high score here in the console perfect so then I can just say done here because I don't need this anymore. No, I'm finished with the task, but I want to show it on the game over screen later. Then the next task will be to create scenes. To do this, I want to create a new folder scenes and I want three different scenes. Menu.lua game.lua and game over.lua. A scene in Solar to do looks like this. First I import composer and real layout. I can also import utilities here in case I need it. Utilities equals require utilities. Then I set the variables you remember from main. I create a new scene using a composer which we imported up here and then I create a new group. The scene event, I have four scene event functions, one for create where I insert everything to the scene. The show is when the scene is showing on the screen. Hide is when we hide the scene and destroy is when we destroy the scene and go to a different scene. And then I add four event listeners here. So I can now save this, just rename the menu and then I can copy this 
I can add a link in the description to an empty scene like this so you don't have to write everything yourself. Just copy this, paste it in the game scene, and also in the game over. So the main Lua shouldn't look like this anymore. So I can just empty the file and paste it in an empty one. The only thing I need in main.lua now is to import the composer. I set recycle on scene change because I want to don't want to cache anything between the scenes. And then I go to scenes.menu, which is the menu scene we just created. So if I save now, everything is okay. And you can see that I was sent to the menu scene. Perfect. So here, the only thing I want to do for now is to insert the background. Local BG equals display.new image rect background.png width of the screen, the height of the screen. BG.x should be centered. BG.y equals center that way also. BG, no, GRB main insert BG. So now the menu have a background and we want a button there to go to the game. You can just insert a text local play. I can say btn play equals display.new text tap to start and then the position should also just be centered the font I want to use is press start to p regular.ttf 30 points large RP main insert btn play. Okay, it was maybe a little bit too big. Like that. So when I want to click this, I want to go to the settings, now to the to the game scene. So I can add an event listener to that button. Add event listener tap. And when I tap that, I call this function. And here I can just say composer dot go to scene scenes dot game. Save. When I click that, you see that I went to the game scene. So then I need to start moving things from this file here and into game dot lua. I've already imported this so I can remove can remove this these four variables I'm going to need like that okay I need two more groups GRP world and GMP hood. So GRP hood like that. I can insert them also down here when I inserted this group. But now I don't want to say local in front of them. So then that should be okay. So I can remove this. This variable also needs to be set up here. And then I can take this code to insert the backgrounds. I will copy them and paste them inside the crate at the top like that so it still looks similar 
the sounds I want to move up to here like that I want to get the bird I can just set in the variables like that so I'll have it globally then I can take this code and insert in the create function also like that okay and then I need to okay I can take the score variable also there and just take this remove score label like that okay see what happens now okay try to index apple bird yes of course bird equals like that yes now that's working perfect then i can copy these functions like that and then i can just paste them above the scene okay so i think that should be okay and I can copy the touch code just paste it in between here so now all the functionalities should be placed above the scene and then the last thing I need to do is to add the runtime event listeners and I do that at the bottom of create also it would be smart to remove this when we die so i can copy this and go i can just add them to the destroy i think remove event listener remove event listener so hopefully now the game should be working Okay, certain, certainly looks okay, perfect. So now what I want to do is to be sent from the game scene to the game over when we die. To do this, okay, I have a composer here, die on complete. Composer go to scene scenes dot game over and okay so when we die when the bird has finished this animation this will be a run and we will go to scene game over so we can just copy this paste it there like that we can try it yes it was working perfect but we need some more information on the game over screen on the background here as well so i can copy this like that local score lbl score equals display dot new text and here I say utilities get no I need to save the previous score so I need to create a new instance here if not db.previous score then just copy these and I can copy this function set previous score so now we can run this function also when we die 
or I can just set it up here actually so I don't need a function for this when I think about it I can just say db set score because I want to run this function every time db save but I want a function for getting this so get previous score and this I'm going to need to remove that the position can be centered cy and then the press start 2p regular .ttf 20 trp main insert lbl score so we can test this yes it says there perfect i can add the prefix score like that also in here i want to say return true so we know if it was high score or what return false okay that will not work as i intended actually i need to call this on the game over screen instead so i'm going to need a function set previous score like that and I can remove this and then I can save because this is the one I want to save in the game over screen now in the game like that so when I die I just set the previous score inside game over I say local is high score equals utilities set high score and then I get the previous score like that if is high score then equals true then I want to show one more text new high score I'll build new high score I want this to be placed 50 points above the center of the screen this can be 30 points large and I also want to show the high score we have below here get high score okay hopefully everything should be working now so I can save and test okay everything is placed plus 50 okay score 2 high score is 2 score was 0 of course sorry want to try to set the high score yeah new high score and everything here was working just need to make this a little bit smaller like that so then I can remove these four tasks and the last thing we need to do is to remove the status bar this one on top because that's just ugly in a game and I can paste this on top of the main.lua so we just display that set status bar to this so now it's gone so now we have a functioning game just like Flappy Bird almost <laughs> so 
A task you can do is to create a new button here. So you are taken to the menu or to restart the game. So this was the end of this tutorial series. I hope you enjoyed it and that you want to come back to my channel for more content like this.